So, um, can antecedent of a fuzzy rule has multiple parts? So, be before that, let me explain what is antecedent and what is consequences. Okay. So, antecedent is the if part. If you still remember in uh, ITS 462 or ISP 542 in your AI subject, antecedent is the if part, okay? And you will have uh, a few if part, right? And then the consequence is the then part. Okay? So, basically, a fuzzy rule can have multiple antecedent, meaning that multiple if part, okay? And it is combined using or, or and statement. Okay, logic. Okay, so if project duration is long and project staffing is large and project funding is inadequate, so these would be the antecedent, multiple antecedent. Okay, then risk is high. So this one would be consequence. Same goes to this one as well, but we use different uh, logic here, okay? If ex service is excellent or food is delicious, then it is generous. So we use or here and we use and here. We can use uh, both for our multi multiple part of the antecedent. However, a uh, fuzzy rule can also have a um, multiple part of a uh, consequence. So, for instance, this is the example. If temperature is hot, okay, then hot water is reduced. Okay. And um, there is two output based on this one input. So, for example, then water is hot water is reduced cool water is increased. So, this is multiple consequence. So, these two consequence is just based on one input. Yeah? So, in general, a fuzzy expert system incorporates not only one but several rules that describe expert knowledge. So, this is actually from our expert knowledge and play off one another. Uh, the output of each rule is a fuzzy set, right? But usually, we need to obtain single number representing the expert system output. So, in other words, okay, we want to get a precise solution, not a fuzzy one. So, usually, okay, usually the output would be a single number instead of fuzzy value. This one will also be covered in the next chapter on how to on how to do the fuzzy inferencing. So how um, are all of this output of fuzzy set is transformed and combined and transformed into a single number? So to obtain a single creep solution, okay, Crease is one value, yeah? if you still remember the uh, differences between crease and fuzzy value. Okay? So, crease is a one value, one number. Okay? A fuzzy expert system first will aggregate all the output fuzzy set into a single output fuzzy set. And then it will use the fuzzification, the resulting fuzzy set into a single number. So, this one will be covered in the next chapter later on. So let us try to construct the fuzzy rules. Okay, so a fuzzy rule base will contain a set of uh, fuzzy rules. So you have a rule base here. Okay, so this is your fuzzy rule base. Okay, so um, in your fuzzy rule base, you are going to have a set of fuzzy rule. So, inside here, you are going to have R1, rule 1, rule 2, up till rule I. So, this is I. Yeah? So, a single if-then rule assume the form, for example, if x is tx, then y is ty. So, an example here, for example, if 
education is high okay and experience is high then salary is very high so this one would be x okay and this is another x okay and this one would be y so this is x this is another x okay so and this is y so this is value of t x1 okay so for example we say that this is t x this is x1 so this is the value t x1 okay so this is x2 this one would be t x2 and what about salary here this is y and this is the value t y okay so for a multi-input and multi-output system, we have a set of rule here inside the credit rule base. So let us take a look at the example here. Uh, example is on dealing with uh, two input variable. That is education and also experience. So what would be the output? is salary okay so based on the education and experience we need to deduce the value of the salary so we have uh, the fuzzy set here the fuzzy membership function here okay so this is the graph with three set okay low medium high okay for um, education so if you have this kind of question here if you have this kind of question here what would be the output what would be the input with its linguistic values so this one would be the input okay input one is education with its set of linguistic value that is low medium The second input is experience with set of low, medium, high as well. How do you see it? It is based on our set of graph here, of our membership function here. Okay. So, um, the output would be the salary. Okay. Salary with how many values? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So, very low. Low. Medium. High. And very high. Okay. So, consider this uh, set. Okay. Two input and one output. So, uh, if we take a look at the fuzzy rule that we are going to construct okay so the rule would be if x1 is t x1 and xp is t xp so for example if we have a set of um, input here so this one would be x1 up till xp we say that xp because um, uh, this is the equation if we don't know uh, the exact value of the rule so for example here we have two input right so we are going to have x1 and x2 so t x1 and t x2 right then okay then okay if the antecedent then the consequences is y1 t1 okay t y1 okay so um the P precondition of form, so this is the P precondition of form of fuzzy set, okay. So, we have X1 up till XP here, okay. And the consequence is the union Q, okay. So, this is Q of the independent output. So, for example, we have multi output here, okay. Or if we have one output, so it would be one only. So, if we consider a multi output, um, multi-input sorry single output system 
then the consequent is reduced to y1 that is t y1 because we we only have one output if we have many output it will be q output so now based on the fuzzy set in this one can you deduce the rule based on this one okay so these these two input would be our antecedent and this one output will be our consequent okay so the rules can be okay if education is low and experience is low so this is x1 this is x2 so this is t x1 this is t x2 so this is for rule one yeah okay um then the salary is very low if education is low the n experience is medium so this is the second set of experience the second linguist, uh, linguistic values of experience then salary is low based on our output so um, all in all okay um, the rules are actually being deduced by the um, uh, what they call that um, referring to the expert how the how the values of the variable is related to each other for example uh, if we say that education is low and experience is low what will be the salary is it very low or is it low it depends on the expert uh, validation so how are we going to write the rule here okay so if we say that um, so so um, take a look at this small picture here so you have speed versus distance okay so this is um, the what they call that input and output okay so um, see I think this is input okay sorry this is two input and this is the uh, output yeah this is the output okay so this is two input here okay so if you imagine this one is the fuzzy graph okay with um trapezoid and triangle membership function okay so if you can imagine that you have um one two three four right four um four fuzzy values uh for speed and one two three four five five fuzzy values for um, what they call that distance here so you have to compare these two input together to get the value of output so for example here you have here if stop if speed is stop so the distance is at uh, at the distance okay okay so uh, there is no value of brake pressure so this one is no so the second one the second rule that we can deduce is if speed is slow okay if speed is slow and you are at the distance okay you are at the distance um sorry it is not here yeah this is if you are at the stop sign okay yeah if you are at the stop sign at okay if you are at the stop sign and you are stop okay you are stop then the brake pressure is none next is if you are at the stop sign and you are going slow so this is speed Okay, the speed is slow then take a look at the um, the chorak of this uh, legend here of Z, uh, Z -C here so this one would be medium so this the brake pressure would be medium next is if you are at the stop sign and you the brake pressure and uh, uh, sorry and you are pretty fast okay and you are pretty fast then the brake pressure must be squeezed out okay so um all of this 
K must be reduced for your rule. So you have to relate each and one of the input and the output. So say here, take a look at this one. If uh, distance is real far from the stop sign, then okay, if you want, uh, you have another input. Uh, the speed is pretty fast. Then the brake pressure would be like. So you are going to have how many rule and here can you um, count it yourself? How many rule that you are going to have? Okay. So this is another example of a real application. So say you have one, two, three, four input with one output. Okay, you are going to have a uh, one hundred and eight rule that has been reduced with validation of the expert. So for example, in your um, rule here, uh, in the first variable. You have three values, young, middle age, and old. In the second variable, you have three values as well, low, normal, high. And HDLC, low, middle, high. Blood pressure, you have uh, four values, low, middle, high, very high. So what would be the uh, output that are going to be reduced here? Okay. So it is not necessary, each rule will have different output. So for example, if you take a look at here, okay, these two rules have same or similar output. What makes it different is just the fourth variable here. 